what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new my name is china thank you guys so much for tuning into this video this is a chit chat tutorial situation um i'm gonna try to be as helpful as i possibly can i'm not that most knowledgeable but we are going to just have fun with it so today you guys we're gonna be doing this bubblegum pink eye i don't know i got my hair done i was feeling ballsy I was like, let's play with some color. You know, she she easy. I just like softly part my hair because if you guys don't know, I got Negro nappy hair. She coys and she curly, but not the type of curls that I like. You know, so I just soften those a little bit to get my shit to lay down. So we, got, we use a little bit of got to be glue, got to be gel style or whatever. I don't even know. My mama did it. I just like let the let, you know. And she like attempted to finger wave my hair, which is fine. I don't like all those extra finger waves that they be doing. So soft finger waves is fine with me. But yeah, my eyelashes are falling out. My eyelashes are falling out. But yeah, so we're gonna be using two different palettes, you guys. Um, just because that's what I usually do. I I I like to play in my makeup, and I like to like use multiple things just to make sure I'm using my eyeshadow palettes because I'm not the type of person that wears eyeshadow all the time. So when I do play with makeup or wear makeup, I'm using using usually using multiple. Okay, so. We're gonna be using the Little Rock Artistry Pro One and the Little Rock Artistry Pro Chapter Two. Okay, we're gonna stick around the pinky shades. We're gonna start off with this shade called Baby Girl. You know, if Shamar Moore was to come up to me right now and call me Baby Girl, I would melt. Just saying, for a fifty-four year old man, oh, bitch. Shamar Moore is life. Johnny Depp, Jason Momoa, man, God's greatest gift right there. Oh, by the way, also I'm congested, so the weather changed, air conditioner, yeah, I don't guess, okay. But we're going to use Baby Girl as our transitional shade. Now, I like to build up my transition shades just to make sure everything's nice and covered you don't necessarily have to it's literally you can just usually generally use it as like a light wash but i do kind of want this color to be seen a little bit you kind of see it a little bit on just inner part of my eye and that's basically what we doing but i don't know i just i'm just the type of person to build my transitional shade up again it's not necessary you can leave it with one layer because we're just going to cover majority of it up but this is what's also going to be the shade we use to my mama's cookie. <laughs> From what I can smell, I'm like, so it smells like tacos. Um, this is gonna be the shade we use to blend out all the shades that we put on our eye anyway. So it's still gonna be somewhat prominent in the look, just not as prominent as I'm trying to make it look like right now. If I, I hope y'all can see my cat is like, oh, by the way, sorry, girl. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't look at me like that. You want to sit right in between my feet every day, all the time. Legitly. She's always there. Booty, 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 booty. booty. <laughs> Hi. All right. So, 
going into the Lil Rock one, you guys. We're gonna take the shade Dragon Fruit right here. We're gonna dab, dab, dab her on this brush. This is the uh, Morphe M433 brush, by the way. I'm gonna tap off a little bit of that excess. We're gonna start with the outer part of the eye. I think I just like little the pieces. And then we're just gonna work our way in, honey. Work our way in. Now, I personally like to go lightest to the darkest. Some people go darkest to the lightest. I cannot do it. I have already tried it, and I my blending skills are just not that good. Um. So to each his own. You, if, if you like to go from darkest to lightest, work darkest to lightest. Whichever way makes you feel comfortable is the way you should do your makeup. There is no right or wrong ways to makeup. I feel like. There's only ways to enhance and improve on your makeup, you know. So we're gonna go in with a couple layers of her. I'm really just like using a soft hand. I'm actually more heavy handed on this side than I do on this side, so which is why I do this eye on my channel. So if they don't like they don't look the same, that's why. This is just because I'm heavy handed as hell. And I'm trying to make them look even. I'm not gonna lie though. These are high shades I probably won't. Booty, 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 booty. And I don't know who Saucy Santana is, girl. Whew. His song, Booty. Oh, my God. Featuring Lotto. Uh, I'm going to go back in with Baby Girl. I like to blend through each stage. I do a lot of blending in my look, so... Just because I'm so bad at it, and I can't see that good... So I'm like, is it blended? Is it blended? No, let me just blend a little bit more. <laughs> I, I just, I grow. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Go out here with some non blended eyeshadow. I mean, I've done it before when I first initially started doing makeup, but. I sound like, I feel like I sound like a man right now. <laughs> I can't breathe out my nose. <laughs> Like, I sound dead. I'm like, dude, this is going to fuck me up tomorrow. This better be gone by tomorrow, because... So, this is Sprinkles. We're going to take a little bit of her on a smaller, like, wooden brush. I'm going to dip a little bit of dab -a dab and we're going to focus her. This is where I only take it halfway because I don't want it to really cover up the other pink, but I don't want to make it like not as pink. It is a bubblegum inspired look, so then why not make it a little bit bubblegummy? Uh, you know, obviously bubblegum comes in different flavors and different colors. I just chose pink, hubba bubba, classic, you know, pink. But gonna last like two seconds. <laughs> And you're like, where's the flavor? And then you gotta put another, yeah. It used to be 25 cents. And I was like, drink some. Nah. I'll just buy the spearmint or the uh, five gum. They tend to last a little bit longer. If I chew gum, I'm not a big gum chewer, so. Only when like my mouth hurts because I have to chew on stuff. Like, it feels better like if I constantly like chew on stuff. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit more of dragon fruit. I'm just going to blend it where the two shades meet. Again, because I don't want to like take over that. I still want that shade to be seen. And then we're going to go back in with our initial shade, and we're going to blend across all of, all of it. Starting at the outer part, and then working our way in. I'm sorry, if I'm like, is this bitch just not stop sniffling in her video? I mean, I am going to take me a bunch of Benadryl tonight, so 
It's gonna be okay. One, two, 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 so. Why is that song in my head? Let me clear my throat. Okay, anyway. So, working on that outer part of our eye, which is going to be the darkest piece that we apply. And we're going to use the shade Love Letter right here from Chapter 2. And we're just going to rock that on the outer part of our eye. Like in that V area situation. <coughs> I kind of want to end with a smaller, more defined brush or whatever. I don't know what the point of brush is, but I have a smaller blending brush. But this one works fine. I wish it wasn't hot anyway. And then we're just gonna do it all over again. We're just gonna. Wrong brush. No, right brush. What? No, wrong brush. And we go back in with a little bit of sprinkles. And the blend across that to make sure. It's blended nicely. with a little bit of dragon fruit and then we're gonna hit it a little bit with the baby girl shade you do you want to blend it that's all it's to it you want to blend it let me clear my mouth mm -mm -mm -mm. Alright, so I'm gonna take this shade artistry and I'm actually gonna start on the outer part on this part and work my way forward. So ninety five percent of the time I go this way over, but I decided to start with the outer part and which is works fine because it helps me blend out the outer edge better, like the last shade to the other shade. So I struggle with that. I just put that on the wrong side of the brush. Oh well. Now, with this, you can definitely spray your brush. I, I don't particularly like to spray my brush. I just like the shadows, let the shadows do what they do. Um, if I was, like, trying to be, like, Malibu Barbie, like, making a vibe or whatever, going out somewhere, I would definitely spray the brush. So, I'm just doing it. I'm going to take this shade called Pegasus, which is right here with... It's a little bit more purple than pink than what I thought, but what's that? Okay, it's gonna be good. So, did y'all see that Michaela came out with a second palette? My friend's like, "Are you gonna get the second one?" I'm like, "No, I'm sorry." I love Michaela on TikTok. I watch most of her TikToks. I like to be on the big talk side of the men, men big talk side of TikTok, um, because I watch enough makeup videos on YouTube. I do check, I do occasionally ch check on the makeup community on the TikTok part, but I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it. I'm sorry. Like, don't get me wrong. It's a very pretty palette, but me being me and not really in the colors like that, like that, it would just sit here, like her first one did. 
I only use the first like what two two and a half rows. I'm not gonna pay forty something dollars for a palette that I'm not gonna use. Like it just makes no sense. Like I'm I'm glad that she was able to do a round two, and she even got a mini palette. Like I'm so grateful and happy for her, but it's just a palette that's just never gonna get used. So I'm not gonna buy it. My friends like that is so mean. I'm like mean because I want to spend my money on something I'm not gonna use. She like used to support. I do support her. I watch. I, I follow her on TikTok. I watch her TikToks all the way through. I learned a couple of things from her TikTok. Like I can't. I can support people without having to buy, with her selling. You know. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Like there's multiple ways to support people without spending money. Plain bank and simple. I say it, but I say it. Okay. Like, I just, I don't need the palette because I'm not going to wear it. Okay. So, anyway. So, I just took a Q-tip, I mean a Q-tip, and wipe, and I just, like, cleaned up the outer part of my eye. I always do, like, the sharp line on the eye. I don't know why. I just do. So, we're done with the eyes, you guys. Like, it's super simple, I would say. I'm going to pop a little bit of white on my brow bone. I'm going to use this shade called Ghost. Because if you guys know, I like bright under eye, uh, bright brow bone highlights. I don't know. And I'm a matte girl. I'm not your shimmer brow girl like situation. Now, on somebody else, I will do a shimmer brow. Like my brother's girlfriend, I did his make her makeup. For a wedding, and I did do a shimmer brow on her, and they like brought the whole look together, like it was perfect. But for me, I just prefer matte brow bone highlights, and I prefer them to be a little bit lighter. Just you know, make my brows look lifted, you know, add a little bit to mm -mm, something. But that's just me. Oh my god. Oh fuck! Like I seriously cannot breathe. Let me clean my throat. Oh, so I'm gonna do my eyeliner. It's still the Patrick Ta eyeliner. I don't have a mirror. Like, I have a handheld mirror, but I can't use that because I can't hold it, so. My mother's on TikTok. Oh, so I'm trying out this Balance and Curl Mascara from Maybelline. I don't like it, but... I mean, I can't say I don't like it. I like it just because it's a more drier formula. It's not, like, wet and it's not, like, doing all the extra. But, I don't know. So, sticking with the bubblegum look, you guys are going to go in with the bubblegum lip. Yes, I declared this, but I was like, I want to try it. I bought a cleansing oil. I went and against myself and I told myself I wasn't going to buy an extra stunning thing to take a lipstick off. But I do like these just because they do stay on your lips all day. You can eat with them. They're stuck. You can drink with them. They stuck. The only part that comes off is the gloss. I don't mind that. It's just the point of getting it off. It's a pain.
it does take a couple layers on the sherry though because it's a little streaky. Let's get cleaner up a little bit. Okay, I see you. I wish you'd heard it, but you had it. You can see she look bad at you. She look bad at you. Oh well, she gonna be with me. I'm not going nowhere. That's why I don't like lipsticks. I'm a gloss girl. There you have it. That's the look, baby dolls. This is what we're serving today. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.